Today is Holocaust Memorial Day, and I'd like to tell a story of kindness to the backdrop of the horror that we should never forget. Mine are Jewish roots of many generations. During the Second World War, my father worked under forced labor for the Hungarian army, and when he came down with typhoid, he was just left to die. My mother was interned in three concentration camps, Ravensbrück, Henningdorf, and Sachsenhausen. Miraculously, they both survived. My mother would say that they were lucky. Hearing their story, I read and viewed the suffering of Jews and the atrocities of the Holocaust. There's unlimited material available and made known about the Holocaust because it is something that newer generations should know about and older generations like mine should never forget. With modern warfare, man's inhumanity to man has made countless millions mourn. And that mourning continues to this day. Please, don't be indifferent to it. Now to the backdrop of atrocities, there are always acts of kindness because the inhumanity of some men brings out humanity in others. So here's the story that I wanted to tell. While Jews were hunted by the Hungarian Gestapo, my grandparents remained in hiding in the home of Christians. These were ordinary people who risked their lives to save the lives of others. Would you do that? If the Arrow Cross police found Christians concealing Jews, they too were sent to the concentration camps or just shot on the spot. This Christian family concealed and saved my grandparents. That was a true act of kindness. Now here's another. When the Russians liberated Budapest, my grandmother left my sick grandfather to cross the Danube to the other side and to look for food, medicine, and to see what family members remained alive in the ghetto. There weren't many. The bridge had been bombed out, as all bridges were, so somehow she came upon a boat and rode to the other side. She hadn't eaten for days, so naturally she was famished. And when she landed on the other side, she saw a Russian soldier seated on the embankment eating his lunch rations. Although she was really wary of soldiers, she was so hungry that she couldn't help but stand and stare and watch him. The soldier looked up at her. And she was really uncertain. What would he do? After all, he was a soldier with a rifle. But this soldier recognized her hunger, and he was different. After a pause, he got up and with a outstretched arm, he gave her his rations, and then he just left. My grandmother feasted. No doubt the soldier could have just eaten it all. But he empathized with her hunger, which was like the hunger of the people of Budapest. And instead of taking advantage of her, this soldier showed kindness. In the light of the cruelty of war, and especially of the Holocaust, this act of kindness seems especially poignant. It's something I don't forget. Just as I don't forget the brutality of that time and the suffering inflicted upon my people, the Jews, Hungarians, Russians, British, Germans, all nations, they're all my people. I can't forget the many good people hypnotized by an insane ideology and manipulated by some evil men I can't forget all those who suffered and all those who died, and I can't forget the Holocaust. Please, don't you forget.